हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस टूडे डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑन लुएस सिंबल और इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट सिंबल और स्ट्रक्चर्स सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ लुएस सिंबल द सिंबल इन विच ओनली द बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटमोस्ट शेयर्स आर रिप्रेजेंटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ डॉट्स और क्रॉसेस इज कॉल्ड अ लुएस और इलेक्ट्रॉन डॉट सिंबल और स्ट्रक्चर so to understand this let us try to write the lewis structure of the first 20 elements so the first element that we have is hydrogen it is it has an atomic number 1 its electronic configuration is also 1 it has one electron in its valence shell or the outermost shell so therefore the lewis structure for hydrogen would be the symbol of hydrogen that is h and one dot for its one valence electron similarly helium it is the second element in the periodic table its electronic configuration is 2 it has two valence electrons so its lewis structure would be written like this we first write its symbol which is h e capital h and small e and since it has two valence electrons i'm showing it with a red color so two valence electrons this becomes the lewis structure for helium now at any point in time if you are not clear with the concept of electronic configuration or valence electrons i am mentioning the links for electronic configuration and valence electrons you can go through those links and try to understand the basics behind electronic configuration and valence electrons so here i have used certain notations z stands for the atomic number e c stands for electronic configuration e negative ns stands for electrons in short coming to the third element lithium it has an atomic number 3 its electronic configuration is 2,1 it has one electron in its valence shell so therefore the lewis structure for lithium will be written as symbol of lithium which is li capital l small i and one dot for one valence electron of lithium After lithium comes beryllium. Beryllium has an atomic number four. Its electronic configuration is two comma two, and it has it also has two valence electrons in its outermost shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for beryllium would be capital B small e the symbol for beryllium, and it has two valence electrons. So we put two dots for showing the valence electrons of beryllium. These can be shown anywhere. it can be shown here it can be shown on the other side left side and it can be shown at the bottom as well so but we should preferably show them in pairs coming to the next element boron it has an atomic number 5 its electronic configuration is 2,3 it has three valence electrons and the lewis structure for boron will be shown as this we write the symbol of boron which is b and since it has three valence electrons we show them with the help of three dots in pairs two dots in pairs at the top one two and one on the right hand side so this is the lewis structure for boron coming to the next element that is carbon carbon has an atomic number 6 its electronic configuration is 2,4 it has four valence electrons therefore the dot structure or the lewis structure for carbon would be the symbol c and four electrons around it with the help of dots in pairs or we can also show the symbol lewis structure for carbon by writing c and showing the four electrons on its sides one here one here one here and one here this becomes a lewis structure for carbon atom coming to the next element that is nitrogen it has an atomic number 7 its electronic configuration is 2,5 it has five valence electrons therefore the lewis structure for nitrogen would be drawn like this we write the sim its symbol n and since it has five valence electrons they would be shown like this in pairs 1 2 3 4 and the fifth electron goes here coming to the next element oxygen it has an atomic number 8 its electronic configuration is 2,6 it has six electrons in its outermost shell therefore the lewis structure for oxygen would be the symbol o and six electrons shown in in pairs one two electrons here 
one two electrons here and two at the bottom so one two three four five six six dots for oxygen atom showing the Lewis structure for oxygen atom next element is fluorine it has an atomic number nine its electronic configuration is two comma seven it has seven valence electrons and its Lewis structure can be shown like this we write the symbol of fluorine which is F and two electrons here on the top two electrons on the left on the right hand side two at the bottom and one here so one two three four five six and seven valence electrons shown with the help of dots then coming to the next element which is neon neon has an atomic number 10 its electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 it has eight valence electrons and therefore the Lewis structure for neon will be drawn like this we write a symbol ne one two electrons at the top three four five six seven eight so it has eight valence electrons so the Lewis this is the Lewis structure for neon coming to the next element sodium it has an atomic number 11 its electronic configuration is two eight and one it has one valence electron therefore the Lewis structure for sodium would be its symbol na and one dot for its one valence electron Coming to the next element, which is magnesium, it has an atomic number 12. Its electronic configuration is 282. It has two valence electrons, two electrons in the outermost shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for magnesium would be its symbol Mg and two dots for the two valence electrons. Next element is aluminium. It has an atomic number 13. Its electronic configuration is 283. It has three valence electrons or three electrons in the outermost shell. Therefore, its Lewis structure would be Al, the symbol for aluminium. Two electrons at the top, one, two, and the third electron on the right hand side. So, this is the Lewis structure for aluminium. Coming to the next element, silicon, it has an atomic number 14. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 4. It has four electrons in its valence shell. Therefore, its Lewis structure becomes its symbol Si and two electrons at the top, 1, 2, and 3, 4. Two electrons on the right hand side this becomes the Lewis structure for the element silicon then coming to the next element which is phosphorus its atomic number is 15 its electronic configuration is 2 8 and 5 it has five electron in its valence shell therefore the Lewis structure for phosphorus becomes two electrons at the top one two three four and fifth electron here so this becomes a Lewis structure for the element phosphorus next comes is sulfur Sulfur has an atomic number 16. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 6. It has 6 electrons in its valence shell. And therefore, the Lewis structure for sulfur becomes, we write the symbol S, 1, 2 electrons here, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 electrons shown with the help of dots in its valence shell. Coming to the next element, which is chlorine, it has an atomic number 17. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, and 7. It has 7 valence electrons, and the 7 electrons in its valence shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for chlorine becomes its symbol Cl, C capital L small, 2 electrons at the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So, 7 dots for the 7 valence electrons. Coming to the next element, which is argon, its atomic number is 18. It has electronic configuration 288. It has 8 electrons in its valence shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for argon will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 electrons with the help of 8 dots around the symbol for argon, which is air. Coming to the next element, which is potassium, it has an atomic number 19. Its electronic configuration is 2881. Its valence electrons is 1, 1 electron in the outermost shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for potassium becomes capital K with a small dot, 1 dot for its 1 valence electron. Next comes is the last uh, 20th element, which is calcium. Its atomic number is 20. Its electronic configuration is 2882. And it has two valence electrons or two electrons in the outermost shell. Therefore, the Lewis structure for calcium becomes symbol Ca and two dots for the two valence electrons. So, I hope children, you all have understood the concept, the basic concept of Lewis structure. In the description box, I am mentioning the videos for the links of the videos for electronic configuration and valence electrons. Anyone who is not clear with the concept of these basic concepts of electronic configuration and valence electrons can go through those videos. 
Thank you so much.